I'm here. Hey, everyone's game is the ghost here with Star Wars the Night, Night of the Old Republic. How's everyone doing? Let's uh, heal up. Uh, yeah, been in there. Uh, do, get out of the way, you bastard! I think we I think it's yeah, up the city north. Don't want to go that way. We want to go to the middle city. How do I get to the end city? End of city? I forget. That's the lower city. Yeah. For fuck's sake! Stop getting my bloody way! Must be through this door then. We should stop dropping me down. Hold on there, civilian. Yeah, Only those empty. with official Sith business are allowed Sith. into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I've got my security papers right here, you twit. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity uh, is crawling with envy, mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. What oh, ifs? You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Get out of here, you filthy beggars, or I'll use my blaster to end your suffering permanently. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. What do you want? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? No, I'm Offworld. I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? <sighs> it's better than this festering slime piss. I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here. Yeah, you should improve and stuff about down something here. I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil, who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. Okay. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land. Even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The promise sound. What the heck's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. 
You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. Um. Have any upholders come through here? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Do you know about the skip pods that crashed into the undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? You know for cool. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people. Despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably oh, tell you more. Or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Says you know for who. Oh, though. okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Well, that's your last chance. But you fuck up. No one. Oi. Greetings, Upworlder. Yeah, you. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, uh, you said about all the... Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Anyway, I'm looking for a twilight. Twi'lek named Emission Vado? Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How do I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed. Unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul space. creatures. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Come on, access those. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Hold the newspapers, so we got a smart one. You got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I can tell. Besides, his my name's Shaikir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Let me see in it. it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Yeah, but I've got some stuff to sell to you. My clothes. Combat armor. Armor for catch. Let's see what you got. 
Scheiße, Safari, die Story. Thank you very much. He'll never make it. He's doomed. Ugh. I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Okay. Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rakuls are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Keep the gate closed. I'm not risking my, own, my life here. You monster. How can you say that? Somebody do something! I'm sorry, Hester. There's nothing we can do. It's too late for Hendar now. No! Yeah. Hendar, no! It's just ruined his life. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you Don't speak somewhere. to me, Upward. You're as selfish as all the rest from the surface. Please, just leave me alone with my grief. Well, I'll tell you to click on someone that I don't want to anything to do with me. A horrible fate gate. for poor Hendar. I warned him not to leave the safety of the village. But yeah. I couldn't open the gate. Not while force. the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village. But enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? I want to ask a few questions. I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Who are you? Anyway? I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Mm -hmm. I'll open the gate for you, Upworlder, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again for the safety of the village. I'm pretty sure that this is where the uh, mission is. Need a go in this. 
streets. Uh, again, let's see if character set focus on you a single one hundred. Weapons in battle game plus one attack and plus one defense due to the thing. So both wounds both. How do you point if you point a level of this building? Let's add that. What the fuck? Yes, what's on your you do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Well, the issue you seem to have with me. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. <sighs> you are the Anyway, I'm going to leave... Yeah, yeah, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, the game is Volkai, and you better smoke me, Kipper, because I will be back for breakfast. Farewell. <laughs>